Hey, what's up? It is Christine Horn. This is Actors Daily Bread, episode 157. Today I'm talking about the world owes you nothing. <laughs> the world owes you nothing. So stay tuned. Uh, let me just put this in the comments here on Facebook. Um, can I pin that? Okay. So good morning. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Well, depending on where you are, I'm in LA, so it's still morning for me. Um, and if this is your first time watching, I want to welcome you. This is Actors Daily Bread, where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. I'm Christine Horn, professional working actress for 20 plus years and a life and career coach for actors just like you. And so I want to welcome you on Instagram and on Facebook. So listen, the world owes you nothing. To all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what? up we play watchers love you guys why did he let him outside he knows i'm live now if you start barking y'all know prince is up to up to his usual shenanigans so what's up trafina what's up wendy what's up jasmine <laughs> listen um i'm gonna dive in because something got me a little heated last night and i felt the need to talk about it um let me <laughs> hey hey alisa so to the, so that you know where this is coming from. And first of all, thank you all for the support for watching SWAT this week. Uh, that was really awesome, me working with Shamar Moore. And uh, Miracle Workers was this week as well on TBS. So if you missed either one of those shows, please, uh, please catch it. Um, so this came in, somebody slid into my DMs. I'm not going to reveal who it is because they are no longer able to slide into my DMs on Instagram. and. At this point, you know, you guys, I'm very generous with these videos. I love teaching. What's up, Caffeine Lacks? Caffeine Laptop on Instagram. I, I love teaching. I, lo I give as much as I can away at all times. And so this, uh, somebody asked just a, for a tip on, you know, like how to find auditions on your own. I mean, you guys, that's the number one question I get all the time. So Actors Access is a great resource. There's all kinds of websites you can use, right? So I get this email in my DMs and it's basically like, it says the Actors Access thing isn't working. I don't really know how to use it. And when and when it's some some somewhat, I can't find any acting jobs. I can't find any guest star roles, commercials, nothing. And watching motivational videos isn't helping anymore. And And then they followed up with more, um, basically wanting me to do more. I can't do more for you than you can do for yourself. And I, I brought this up, not just about this person who came into my DMs with a, it was a lot of, it felt like entitlement. And I think as I talked to some actors and I asked them, what are you doing for your career? I'm not talking about you having an agent, your manager, uh, what people outside of you are doing and how that may affect what it is in the results that you're getting. I'm legitimately asking, what are you doing for you? Anyone who's been in my circle, shout out to all my Hollywood bound actors out there. If you're not a member, come on over to Facebook. It's an awesome community, but we are all about what can I do for me? How can I let myself be known? I always tell you guys, you can't be a secret and a success. Right. So you got to put yourself out there. You got to do things. But we must stop waiting to get discovered. I just want to break this bubble right now. I mean, it, <laughs> I'm like trying to put it into like nice as nice words as I can. But like nothing is going to be handed to any of us when it appears that things are being handed to people. Uh, and I see the comments. I just want to I just want to get this this note out. When it appears that we start seeing people's success, they're working there on TV shows, they're on films, they're doing some of the things that you want to do. It can feel like, wow, they're just getting everything now. But people don't know the work that has gone in. Trafina, Wendy, Elisa, Angel, Marily, Stephanie, Sheena, right? They don't know the work. They don't know the hustle, Angel, right? They don't know. And so you're seeing an end result, not seeing all the seeds that have been planted year after year after year after year. And so my point to anyone listening is when there are free resources that you can use, take them. Because sometimes in life, that's all we can afford right now. Because this ain't about money. This is about literally all I can handle in my life. Some of y'all got kids, y'all got families, husbands, wives. That's all you can manage. And this 30 minutes of time you might have is absorbing this. 
So I get that. But don't expect anyone to do the, I can't be like, okay, this is what we're doing. And I'm, let me put your hand on the computer. So I, I can't. So please, like, don't slide up in my DMs asking me to do the work for you because I'm not going to do it. Every one of my clients, every one of you who are on this thread who I know and I've talked to, let's not lose momentum is my point. Even my clients, if, if, if things have slowed down, if things have reached a low, I always go back to me. When things are get slow for me, I look in this big ass mirror over here on my, in my office and be like, what, have, what didn't you do this week, Christine? It's been slow. Well, what, what did you do, Christine? Well, did you work on your book? Well, I, did you, like, I, have, I do that to myself. And when any excuse wanna come up, oh, well, honey, I got a, a laundry list of things I could be doing. The world owes you nothing. The world owes me nothing. But the universe will conspire to make sure that you have everything that you need once you show up for you in whatever way that looks like. So stay encouraged. And this isn't just a motivational video. She said, I'm tired. Motivational videos are not no longer enough. Well, okay. <laughs> okay. How, how y'all doing? I just want to remind y'all of that. Let me check some of these comments. Uh, Angel says, I began my acting career. I'm attending classes, stepping into her power. Awesome. Yes, yes, yes. Nice to connect with you, Angel. Hey, Dawn. I see y'all on, on Instagram. Let me come on over here to Facebook. Happy Saturday. What y'all working on? What are some of these goals that we have for the new week? Um, oh, that's a, you, oh, Lisa, you brought up a good point. Oh, you brought up a good point. I was going to say that for another video, but I'm going to talk about it now because I already hit the one point I already had. Hey, Dawn. Uh, Elisa says, uh, Sheena says, preach. Jasmine says, what I tell you? Why he let Prince out when he know I'm in here? Mm -hmm. Hang on. Oh, oh, now you got him. Oh, you got him now. There, <laughs> y'all. I'm giving so much side eye shade to my husband right now. When I'm here alone, we have a process. Prince goes to the cage. We have a process. Uh. Anywho, I'm going to keep it together. Side eye. Side eye. Thank you. That's extra shade. <laughs> oh, gosh. Trafita, I don't know. There used to be a girl, um, a woman, who I did Lion King with. A Selawana, she would, we would do fake shade with each other. It'd be like night night, night night. <laughs> y'all have y'all anybody have friends? Y'all do intentional shade just to see if you can make each other laugh. Oh my gosh, that just tickled me. See, I get that's intentional shade. So listen, <laughs> listen, y'all are cracking up. Um, but thank you, Elisa, because you did remind me of something. This oh, I can't pull it up on my phone because I'm live on my phone. I'll give you the short version. So I got a text. This is not about the world owes you nothing. I'm already done with that soapbox. But I do want to talk about this. I'll, I'll adjust the title for this. There are still some of you, not my, I know many of you that I work with are advanced and know better, but this is still rampant and I want to talk about it because it really worries me and it pisses me off. I got an email, a text from my friend, who my friend who is not a, is not an actor, and she, she was letting me know that her brother um, was, she was like, he's doing background work. He's doing some, you know, indie stuff, trying to get, you know, get in the, in the, in the industry. Great. She said he met with such and such agency. And she was like, they said it was $500 for the headshots and then $39 a month for the website and submissions. She was like, is that, what do you, does that sound okay? And I was like... No, run, go, scam, leave, get out. <laughs> this is still happening, you guys. People are still, oh, I'm messing up. People are still getting scammed left and right. You guys, if anyone ever asks you for any money at a meeting, get out. Don't sign nothing, don't do nothing. Like, it's still happening and it's still rampant. Like, and it wasn't in LA. I don't care what market you're in. I don't, Neil said, you have dogs. I have a dog, Neil. 
anybody who's known me for since back in high school knows I've always been scared of dogs. And now I have a bull mastiff who's a very large dog. The irony doesn't pass me. Guys, do not get scammed. You know, I want to give a shout out to um, uh, Ramon. We have a new member in our Booking Magnet Academy. That's if you're, if you're new to me, I have the Booking Magnet Academy. You can click a link in the bio. Um, and he said, I've been watching you a long time before I joined because I didn't know if you were a scam or not. Lots of scams out there. And the way you know a scam is when you're not getting anything of value in return. If you pay for a class and I teach you, that's an even Steven. But if you're paying for some imaginary website or some headshots that you only have to take these headshots with this specific person at the specific office, trust and believe, honey, that agent and that headshot photographer, they split in that money. Like it's still happening and it's still like, it's still just crazy to me. So, so please, just stop, just stop, just stop, just stop. Let me read some of these comments. Marilee says, there won't be no one that willing to work hard for you, harder than you. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I just, this whole live, if you just, if you just popped on today, hey Enoch, hey, if you just popped on, it, it was titled, The World Owes You Nothing. Because I got some people in this thread right now, Neil Gant, Enoch King, people who are here who have been putting in years of blood, sweat, and tears. And I I just I don't even have the gall to text somebody, email somebody. Would you email Amy Jo Berman and be like, hey, can you do this for me? How do I get auditions? Can I just come to your house and you just tell me and you just book me? Can you, as a matter of fact, can you just call your agent for me and tell them I want to be an actor? People see me on TV be like, I could do that. I want to do what you do. Can you get me an agent? No. And for Ed, all my actors out there who finally are signed, be very careful with your referrals. Don't give them referrals away willy-nilly. Some of y'all just got signed. The ink ain't even dry. Don't give no referrals out. And if your friend or associate can't respect that, well, that's on them. You're still trying to build your own relationship. It's not about this is mine and I don't want you coming to my agent and getting my gigs. It's not that. It is if I put my name on you, that means something. And your name means something as well. And if you don't, without a, without a shadow of a doubt, trust the person you're referring, seeing their work, seeing their professionalism, do not put your name on them, period. It's not about a lack mentality. I'm a giver. But honey... People, as soon as they mess up, as soon as they don't go to an audition, as soon as they do some some bull, they're going to be like, Stephanie said she was good. I'm not taking any referrals from her. Um, Enoch, yes. Enoch said they ask all that and, and if I know Tyler Perry. Absolutely. <laughs> when I did have and a half knots, can you get me on half and a half knots? Yeah, girl, what's your number? Let me give Tyler your number. Let me, let me call Tyler Perry. Let me see what he doing. Oh my gosh. Listen, that's all I had to say. I didn't pop on this week. I do want to let you know if you have some questions or if you want to talk about something other than sliding up in my DMs. Hey, David. Hey, Billy. Yes, Billy says eight years of hard work. Um, I do want to let you know I only have 17 spots left. For those of you who have been living under a rock this week, I open the doors to my inner circle. It is part of the Booking Magnet Academy, but the only way starting April 1st that I'll be working with anyone one-on-one -on -one because as y'all see, I stay booked and busy and I have to I have a certain threshold of people I can work with at that intense level and if you've ever worked with me one-on-one, -on -one, Stephanie, Marily, <laughs> Naza, y'all know how intense I can be. So, if you want to learn more on Instagram, click the link in my bio, you can learn more about the inner circle. If you're here on Facebook, you can click the link above and learn more about that and apply because everyone ain't able. So please apply and then we can see if it's a fit. Um, let me check these comments before I head out. What y'all working on? Let me see some, some goals here in the thread, Facebook, Instagram. Let me see what are the goals for the next week, for the rest of March. Let me see some rest of March. These are things that you can handle. This isn't, I hope to get five auditions this month. No, I'm, what are you going to be working on for you to push the needle? Shout out to Ladios. I don't know if she's on here, who I had a great, who's one of my new Inner Circle members. And we were talking about that this morning, pushing the needle. So I want to see some comments. 
Marilee, Stephanie, Mar uh, Wendy, Jocelyn. Hey, Jocelyn, Elisa, Trafina, Gina. What's up, Gina? Um, uh, have a good show, Enoch. Bye. <laughs> I love you too. Um, yes, it can absolutely ruin your reputation, Angel. Let me see some comments in the thread, you guys. What are we working on for the rest of March? What is that that you can do? Uh, Billy, just click the link, okay? I don't see no comments. Facebook, sometimes this is weird. I'm going to unpin this comment. Maybe I can see. Um, headshots real. You take us to new headshots, Benzel? What are you selling? I always ask my clients, what are you selling? And when I mean by that, I mean like, what is your essence? What are you giving? Are you giving detective, Venzel? Are you giving doctor? Are you giving nice uncle? Like, what are those pictures going to be serving up? Uh, Stephanie says self-taping and love notes. Anybody who's in my, in my circle, we send out love notes to people. That's basically our marketing, but it's with love. Yes. Marilee says self-taping. So I assume when you guys are saying self-taping, you mean practicing self-tapes on your own? Um... You guys, I'm all about the self-tape. Uh, Zipporah, hey Zipporah, she says she's gonna be brainstorming ideas for creating my own work. I know you are. <laughs> I know you are. Um, uh, anybody who's in my Booking Magnet Academy, by the way, we're gonna move the Q&A to Tuesday. I'm gonna send an email out, but I figure since some of y'all are here, might as well let you know. Um, Cause on Monday, I get to see my movie. You guys, did, have you seen, heard of this movie? It's called Triple Frontier, starring Ben Affleck, Charlie Hunnam. It opens this, it opens next week. And so I'm gonna go to the screening of that on Monday. I'm so excited. Um, really excited to see that. Jocelyn, um, David said he's gonna be, um, you're filming a scene later today. Awesome. God, and don't think, don't think I'm gonna forget about these because I'll find y'all. Be like, how's that going? Hey, Cortland, shout out to my kitty clients. She's working on content creation. Awesome. Um, Angel says, you gave me the best advice when you asked to join your Booking Magnet Academy. You told me since I'm now starting out, focus on the craft. Exactly. That's how I knew you were the truth. Oh, thank you. Listen, people come to me all the time wanting to work with me and sometimes you're not ready. And when, if you're a brand Nubian, what I call my newbies, my brand Nubians, you need to focus on craft. Me giving you a ton of, of things to do for marketing and all this stuff is not going to serve you if you get the audition and then you suck. S-U-C-K. Your audition is horrible. If you're horrible, then I can't help that. You could be a great marketer. <laughs> great at sales. Horrible at execution. We don't want that. And I don't want that for you. Um, Jocelyn's going to, she's attending a self-tape. She's self-taping for the actor seminar. Okay, awesome. Sad, shout out to SAG after in Chicago. Kashada, hey Kashada. She's doing some love notes and Aria's new headshots. Um, okay, what are you what is Aria selling in her new headshots? Trafina, what's up, Trafina? My New York sister. Um, working as a co-star for Real Real Arc. Oh, okay. So you guys, for those of you who are ever in need, hey Tuesday, who are ever in need of um getting some speed reels done. You know, sometimes until you get booked, you gotta create, a, you gotta create it, right? So there are, these, there are these great companies out there who do quality work and you can pay them to create a reel for you. They'll write it for you, shoot it, and they'll have hire other actors to be in the scene with you. Very high quality. A lot of my clients have done that. So shout out to Trafina in New York, who's like a recurring person on doing some of these reels. So not only is she getting camera time, she's working the muscle right of being on camera which is a muscle um and then she's getting like all this great footage which i love um i love 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 it um all right billy bye take your call wendy says she's working on self-taping and working an extra job to save for your one-on-one -on -one session <laughs> um do what you gotta do make sure you keep food on the table most importantly guys if we're worried about keeping the lights on and food in our mouths we creativity doesn't flow so I'm always a, a person that says, look, don't quit your job, get an extra job, actually, so that you can fund the things that you desire, right? And so that stress is off of you. When we are, when we are looking to, to clothe and feed ourselves, creativity does not flow. So I will never tell you to spend your last $20 on me, not if you need to eat, right? Um, 
uh, Marilee's taking classes at the Creative. Awesome. Shout out to Dave Pelleggi in Atlanta. Um, Trafina also found someone to shoot my short film. Yay! Yo, go short film. Go short film. Oh, I, I just, that was an old lady move. I was like, felt like my old auntie. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, you can't laugh at yourself, honey. Woo! Your body ever do something? You're like, why am I doing an old person dance? Oh, I got the old person two step. Oh, God. Uh, Jasmine says she's reworking her reel. Awesome. Make sure when you're reworking that reel, we're putting the great stuff first. Anything that goes in the beginning of our reel tells people how we want to be cast and seen immediately, right? So be sure, just because it's not the biggest part, don't put that at the beginning. Make sure it represents Jasmine moving forward and what Jasmine wants to do, all right? Um, Great, great, great. Marilee's learning the new market. She just moved to Atlanta, so she's learning that market. Hey, 71061. Uh, right now, we're, we're sign, getting ready to sign off. We've been live for a while, and I'm just holding people accountable with some of their uh, goals for the rest of March. Things that you can control, that you can control. Gina's doing a private acting classes, reading acting books, studying actors on TV shows. Yes. And taking improv classes. Ooh, that sounds so much fun. I love improv. It's scary as heck, though. I haven't been in an improv class in a while, but it definitely loosens you up and frees you up. Um, Alisa, <laughs> Alisa, you're so funny. <laughs> Did you ever work with Tyler Perry? Yep, I worked on the Have and the Have Nots, and I worked with Tyler Perry in Boo a Medea Halloween, part one. My scene was with him. Um, so yes, I have. Um, Okay, well, that's everything in the thread here on Facebook. I see you, I see you, I see you. Uh, Seven's getting into voiceover, awesome. All right, you guys, I'm gonna sign off. Just remember that you are special, you are loved, you have a gift that the world needs to see. If you want us to see it, then honey, you gotta let us see it. You can't be a secret and a success. So if you wanna be a success and you're tired of being the best kept secret in Oklahoma, then let us know that you exist. Stop waiting to get discovered. Prepare yourself to be seen. If you found this helpful, click like, click love, click whatever. Give me some, that way the algorithm, al algorithms pick it up. Don't be stingy. If you have an actor friend, share this with them. After this live is over on Instagram, you can share it. Same thing on Facebook. Remember, this is not ours to keep for ourselves. We can't hoard it. We gotta give it away. It's like being at the beach, honey. We can't pick up, I can, you can get sand, I can get sand. We can't take all the sand. So it is, give it away. Whatever you want most in life, give it away first. I want bookings on bookings on bookings on bookings. I want money. I want checks. So I give tips. I give tips on how to book more. I'm a booking magnet. Speak life, speak life, speak life. Before I go, let me just leave you with this. You guys, those of you who are following me, what do y'all call me? Y'all call me a booking magnet. Why? Because I first started to call myself a booking magnet. I called what I wanted to bring to my life. I called myself that. Anything that follows the word I am is a prayer. So I was putting that on my life, speaking that into my existence. I'm a booking magnet. I'm a booking magnet. I'm a booking magnet. I'm a booking magnet. Now you guys call me booking magnets. I can't go anywhere. Someone's like, hey, booking magnet. Hey, booking magnet. So people speaking life to me all day what do you call yourself what do you desire for yourself what do you want to speak into your life be aware of that work on that and figure out what that is and just sit in that you got to speak life into you first before we can all right. Have an amazing Saturday. I love you guys. If you enjoyed this video, there's over 156 more episodes on YouTube. So come on over and subscribe. Bye. Have a good day. Let me go end on Facebook.